Hello everyone, this is Anaway Joe here playing of Vorion. Thank you for watching. This is going to be main base setup. Finally, the time has come. I'm sure a, a few of you have been waiting. I'm going to be setting up the main base. Uh, I finally got enough resources up here to put my at least the main um, resource uh, depot the main station up first and then maybe make one maybe two of the smaller stations um, off of that I mean I have enough credits I still don't have enough resources but you know huge step in the um, right direction and um, just to let you know where I've been kinda of setting up to gather resources that have been in a wormhole and I kept wondering why I kept losing so much resources I just found out why it looks like the fighting drones were fighting on this side of the wormhole. They go through it when they're fighting and get stuck over here. And then people kept, they kept making more to replace them. So yeah, that's not something uh, I'm going to try to do in the future. Um, but you know, that's something to learn from my mistake there for everybody. So what am I looking for criteria of setting up my main base? So I know if I, I was already here at 0 0.1, that's why it says I died there, but that is a considered um, a level of turret 52 area. I've been fighting in this area and the weapons I've been getting from that area have been uh, rated 43. So what I'm looking for is a sector that can give me turrets at tech level 50 at least as well as I can do research and I want to do research and the turrets to go to tech level 50 as well. And the reason why is because I'm trying to make purple weaponry and if I have the research depot currently at here I make level 52 tech weapons and with level 52 tech weapons I cannot make a blueprint out of it which then means that the weapons will be uh, completely different so what I want to do is on um, especially like the mark 4 and stuff the weapons will be set up at say this is fire range is on that uh, rail gun is almost 30 so like I could what's known as BZO or set up a shot guideline where the weapons are meant to engage for that range and it's kind of like building a ship for the weapons is what I'm looking to do so on that matter I need to make sure I can build a, around tech tier 50 um let's see so if here is 43 and down here is 50 I'm thinking probably right around in here is gonna be level uh, I'm thinking it's going to be tech, uh, or sorry, tech 52 down here. I think right around in here will be level 52 that I'm, or sorry, level 50, not 52, that I'm looking for. So I'm going to head over to here and give it a shot. I'm, I have this little guy right here. I'm going to set it up as a research station, and then I'm going to do researching and see what type of turrets I can get out of it. I will be right back let's set up a foundation so I'm going to go ahead and found foundation or found station excuse me research station let's find it you're too close to an oh because <laughs> I have my escort ship in which is technically station makes sense so let's move out a little bit away from this and let's find the research station okay so 
Now let's do some research on some weapons. I just sold a bunch, but I can use all these point defenses. And I got tech level 50. That's what I'm looking for. Um, another thing that I kind of would be saying would be interesting would be you want to kind of look for the space as in like the background some color some if you guys know what I mean like some of those other ones are really foggy or they're like more nebula I didn't want any asteroids in it so this one doesn't the color seems okay it has some nebula but not so bad so this looks like it's a good prime area for me to set up my base there's also a couple other things I wanted to go over uh, with the main base as well but for right now this is the area I think I'm gonna set up I got like I said I got the t level uh, tech 50 uh, there so theoretically I'm pretty sure the turret will be tech 52 okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually build a few more little little uh, guys like this and the reason why is I wanted to test a theory on something actually I I don't yes I can because these guys don't have any uh, special parts so they don't need an actual uh, station to build so these can get blown up it's not that big of a deal what I'm mainly trying to do is put some tests in with jumping and various things so let's build some of these small ones two that are gonna basically be sacrificial lambs for instance but again it's not really costing anything too much for me so I have a theory that Basically, the area that you jump in is set up. So what I want to do is I'm setting these tests out and then back in. I want to find where the center of the jump area is. Like, for instance, when I jumped in the both uh, the station research as well as my on away Joe in, they were pretty close to each other which leads me to believe that there's an actual center of this uh, s sector so I want to find what that is now how am I gonna do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now they don't have pilots so I gotta ride along with them but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these three test things if they get blown up they get blown up but I'm gonna have them jump out in a triangle pattern and jump back in and the reason why I'm doing that is I want to see how they they jump in and I'm gonna leave them in place I believe that way then as a triangle works you set it up as then triangle location if you center in the middle that should be your middle of your sector so as I thought here's the on away Joe over here I jumped in a different area but we're within 21 kilometers of each other so I'm that's what I'm thinking is correct then and yes I know that I'm kind of uh, talking when jumping and loading but um, the Onaway Joe came from this over here so I think if I actually maybe make it a square because the Onaway Joe can be a part of this test too if I set up the other ones from the ends so like come in like with a box then and I think that way I can find where the center of this sector is and that's where I want to put up the the main base of the resource um, dock because that will give me um, like when enemies come in it will give me the most likely of a chance to destroy them right away so there's the first test there's the third test where's the on away Joe is over here so again, okay, so like there it's kind of showing me a circle here. If I zoom out, or actually I'll just push N. If I zoom out, as you can see, it's starting to make a circle. That means right about in here, I bet you is gonna be the middle. 
So if I send test one up, this direction come in, because this one went, test two is here, test three is here, on away Joe came from here. That means if I send test one up and down, that should give me a pretty good square, like, look to it. And mark where that center is. And I want to put my main base in the center, so when the enemies jump in, they're getting attacked right away. It also helps with trading, because again, I'm going to want to attract my traders to it. By attracting my traders to it, they're going to come in and go right to it very fast. So yep, I was right. It basically marks a circle. So like... See, at the farthest point is 35 kilometers. So that's telling me that it looks like about, if that's 35 kilometers in the middle, it would be 17. So, and they're pretty much the same distance from each other, give or take just like a little bit of kilometers, maybe five. In the grand scheme of space, it's pretty tight. If you think about it that it shows that there is a mineral middle and center of the the sector and actually even if you look at it too like this one's down a little bit more you know that one's a little bit down but that one's pretty out of Joe's level and this one's level so like even the height they come in is pretty close to the same I'm not saying it's always going to be perfect but and also you see this cargo ship coming through that's not my ship it looks like it was in that circle too cool Oop, no 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 stop no stop darn it uh, <laughs> well I'll go fix that guy real quick and put it back where it belongs uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this shipyard build another little foundation ship and then be right back so from what it looks like I accidentally uh, put my resource dock pretty much in the almost middle of where I'm going which is going to be about right here and how big that the main base is going to be I think definitely I need to move it so not a big deal I'll just go and take my little uh, ring -a ding ship here and set up a tow for it basically and I have also forgot that you can actually go and build on things just like this without actually going to them I forgot that long like I just been doing it so much uh, normally switching pieces like that to build that I forgot so I just wanted to remind people that that is a possibility swing around set up just pull it to dock oh that's right I got to set up for transportation mode yes pull it into dock and here we go let's get this little guy out of here I'll park it over by the Onway Joe and then this little drone will go back and we'll set up the the main base uh, the resource depot and then uh, what I'll do is I'll start moving everything here and this will be my new base for the Onway Joe campaign but the main thing then now I can start doing uh, other tests I wanted to do like the late game weapons testing and uh, farming testing uh, with fighters and various things as well. Well, okay. Maybe if I pull it back again. Come here. That's actually pretty nifty how much that moves because it's so small all right and also with the putting now the the main base actually in the campaign and stuff I have a pretty good uh, idea of how it's going to work uh, as well as far as like weapons and repairing I want to do all those type of tests too so there there's quite a bit of a uh, my need and want to get this set up 
especially because uh, I have word that I know I think I said it in one of my videos before that it looks like definitely the multi the multiplayer uh, server that I've been waiting to reset um, is going to happen soon. Let me see. Can I get it to kind of route? It looks like it's right about right about there is going to be the center, I think. Pretty close. Actually, yeah, I think it's going to be right about here. Well, actually, I can probably 13, 18, okay so pretty darn close I would say so then what I'll do is I'll go and build well I guess I could just yeah I'll build it first because I don't want to get blown up uh, after I set it all up let's see forget which make Oh, okay. I think they're the same. This one's got more, so I'll build this one. And then apply design. Boom! There it is. So now, then I can also go in and build other things now, too. That's weird, because when I was working on it before, I thought my Organite cost was... 30 million it looks like it was only 17 million well I put a lot more farming in than I needed to it looks like huh I know I was doing some other small edits and stuff but I wonder why it changed so much but yeah it's in the campaign now and we can change it now to found a station resource depot yes and let's see we need to hire tons of crew that's for sure all right so that's where i'm going to pretty much uh end this video uh i'm going to kind of be working offline to kind of start filling this up with other stations start moving all the stations here and park them in here as well and that's going to be just a lot of uh, grilling time to do all that as well. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. It really helps. To see future videos or past videos easier, subscribe today. Hit that alert bu a button, um, especially if you're new here. It'll let you know when my new videos come out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.